out taking a nice, much needed morning walk. It's a beautiful day today. There's just a couple of clouds in the sky, but no rain. And it's a little chilly, but it's really nice. It's perfect for a walk after breakfast. It's so quiet and peaceful up here. It's, it's so nice. Like if we were to take a walk in the city, it'd be so loud and stuffy and this is just so calming and relaxing. Just not a soul, just me and the trees. <laughs> so beautiful. So I'm just walking back and I think we're gonna be building something really cool today. So keep watching and see what that is. We're really excited about it. So let's see if Jake is ready to get going on this project that we have for today. So give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's get on with it. Okay, babe, are we ready to tell them what our project is for the day? Well, the project needs to be the log cabin washroom. Yeah. That's the, but we want to eat while we're building that. So we're going to build a dehydration rack so that we can dehydrate kale chips and mushrooms and other herbs and other foods, fruits, so we can have amazing dehydrated stuff that can last a long time and fuel us as we build this log cabin washroom that will be uh, the sister structure to the yurt. That's a very beautiful diagram. Thank you. So it's going to be all built from the forest. We're going to build it natural looking with logs from the forest. And then each of these guys is going to be little, just um, little tiny sticks that we can clip our bamboo drying racks onto. So each of these bamboo drying racks will slide in the shelf and we'll have like eight of these all the way down and it'll be about this close to the stove so that the wood stove will dehydrate all of our stuff for us naturally. And we'll have one of these heat operated fans that blows 30% of the heat from the stove into the living space. We'll have a second one we already got that'll be here that'll blow the heat onto the dehydration trays. Let me get to show you guys all the yummy things that we're gonna be dehydrating. So subscribe so you can see this uh, dehydration rack in action. Okay, where's the top of the shelf? It's gonna have a shelf on top. You want it this tall? Well, I would, no. I would really appreciate if the shelf, at the top of it, where you're gonna put a plant or whatever, mm -hmm. is 54 inches. So it's four foot six. So that's where the top of it is right there. And then the first shelf is like here. That's where the first rack goes. So can the top of this thing be 54? Yeah. Um, it needs to be just about, I would say, mm. enough just to have me. <laughs> Just enough space to have about one inch or even half an inch of space on either side. So what's the width? What's the diameter of these guys? 26 inches. What we have to do is we have to bring in sticks, put the tray in each one, and then and if the stick is too small, get a different stick. I gotcha. That's 26. I mean, personally, I think it'd be really cool to have like, gonna be up to here. On this side, on this side, have there be a way we have the sticks going across. And so these big guys going inside the main structure. But then on the outside, have there be two or three different places where there's two sticks. So we can take these smaller ones and just clip them in and just the pinch pressure will hold in like that. That'd be cool. Then we can have this be, so this, the shelf's here. If these would be hanging out over the stove, they would get dehydrated really fast. Let's do it. You up for that? Yeah. And then these would be the ones that we just keep switching so they don't burn. I love this idea. Mm.
say about this saw? I don't know. It's more friendly. You said it was more ecologically friendly? Yeah. Okay. One down, 15 more to go. Yep. business I can get my head down to the floor. Get that knot. <laughs> nice work. Alright, so we had to move the project inside, obviously we're building it in here. And it's it dark at like 4 o'clock. Yeah, so it's like pitch black outside. We have a couple of flashlights on us, so hopefully it's bright enough for you guys to see. But we're just doing the frame and then we'll finish it up tomorrow with better lighting. So let's do this. Let's do it. You're not putting it at the oh. very bottom, are you? Well, with enough room to... Um... Yeah, why? Right. 
looking for pepper. I'm sorry, the dog is in my way. Da, 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 da. Get on the other side. You can't do it like, like this. I'm stripping it. student though I try to be but maybe by being an A student baby I could win your love for me all right here is one we could just hang this on the yurt and then like hang off of it and do leg raises up like yeah. gymnasts Good morning, good morning guys. The next day, we weren't able to finish the drying rack. Obviously it got dark. We need a couple more pieces from the forest and that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna finish it up and it's just a crazy busy day today. Um, we have our first community Christmas party tonight, which is gonna be fun. I'm making this chocolate bark and I'll show with you guys the recipe and how I make it super simple, really easy and delicious. Meeting up with Jake out here so we can cut 13 more pieces so we can get this drying rack done and it's looking so good so far. Puma! Kai! Oh! 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 I get bored with the same sounds over and over. Puma tries. Puma, come here. Sit, buddy. Spin. Sit. Shake. Spin it. Yeah, bud. Sit. We're gonna wait for your buddy here. Kai! Ready? Home! Thanks, bro. Come. Bye, you're late. Street lights already came on. Sit. Good boy. Kai, sit. Shake. Oh my gosh, that was not shake. Sit. Shake. Thank you very much. Okay, okay put the chair on. All right. All right. <laughs> what do you think? I think it's great. And the top one will put three so that smaller trays can fit on there. Yeah, I think it looks awesome. Okay. He's walking on our trays.
Grab this mug right behind you. Let's see if this works from the top. Yeah, that works, right? Cool. Awesome sauce. I mean, even the small ones, but. For sure. But I didn't even make it for the small one. I figured the small ones are for other stuff. Yeah. But, yeah. Cool. Let's put it in place. Let's put it in place. And then I'll just cross brace the back. I think it looks great. It's the big one. It fits. Inspired by Li Zichi and Kawaii Pharmacy. We found it's really effective to like put a tray like here up on the wood stove. So we were putting like a metal pot and then yeah. this on top. So instead we're gonna put two boards here and then pinch it in so that this can hover above the stove. So we can always have the wettest one, hence the eighth one, yeah. hovering over the stove. Yeah. And then we're gonna put a cover on the top to trap the heat in and then a cover on the side or like a blanket on the other side so it traps the heat in and cycles it through. So kind of just drape over like that. So now like two things are happening. One is it's trapping more heat in the whatever we're dehydrating, but two. It looks cool. It's drying out the blanket and it's not oh, getting mold. Yeah, very true. I was like, it looks cool. <laughs> yeah. There we go. Okay, now it's one step away from finished. We're gonna put a shelf on top, and that way we can use the top for a plant or for storage or whatever. But, minus the shelf, it's finished, and what's really cool is we just put one dowel here. So now when we have things like mushrooms, or things that are like wet and need to really be dried out, uh, instead of just putting them over there and letting the fan blow the heat from the wood stove over, we take the really wet things and trap it there, and then it's really close to the stove. And after like an hour or so, we can just switch them out. So we can constantly be switching. And this guy gets a turn, like that. And then an hour later, this guy gets a turn. And that way, we're using the stove the most efficient way possible. What do you think? I think it looks awesome. It's all from the forest. Yes, I like it a lot. Way better than I was expecting. So we're doing this for now. This is all the all the bark that we pull stripped. Nicole actually took a class down uh, the island learning from another expert how to use this to create natural dye for fabrics or clothes, but we're gonna use it right now to dry it out and then use it for all natural kindling to try to get away from like newspaper to start the stove. We're gonna try to just dry all this out and then we'll keep it somewhere away from the stove um, and use it as we need it. So this was all the pull strip bark off of all these pieces. Yeah. Their skin. Yeah, their skin. And then the top, you can see we put three so we can have the smaller guys up there. Like that. You know what comes to mind when I see this? It's very Pinteresty. Oh, Jesus. Do you even have a Pinterest account? No, it actually account? makes me upset. I don't understand Pinterest. When I search certain things for inspiration on Google, and I hit images, Pinterest always comes up, and then I go to look at it, and it says, you must log in. I'm like, I don't have time to create another account for another thing. Well, you keep saying pinterest -y, but you don't even have an account. Do you have one? Yes. Can folks follow it? Is it like public? Yes. Oh, we should put the description in the video. Okay. Follow Nicole's Pinterest, and all her like, it's like a clipboard with all your pins. Yeah, like uh, I do like teas and stuff like that. Nice. Okay. I wanted to share the recipe to my Christmas vegan bark. You start with dark chocolate chips, add sliced almonds and cinnamon. You are going to melt the chocolate and stir continuously so you don't burn it. Oh, and I also forgot to add the vegan marshmallows. Next, you're gonna line a cookie sheet with parchment paper and spread the melted chocolate evenly. Once it's all spread evenly, you're going to add your toppings. On mine, I put pretzels, sunflower seeds, and a pinch of sea salt. You could put whatever you want on it, marshmallows, etc. Then you're going to put it in the fridge for about an hour or so to let it harden. And since I don't have a fridge, I put mine outside since it's cold enough. Mm. 
best part is licking the chocolate or like the leftovers if you're making something sweet. Mm. Now for the best part. Once it's all hard, you're going to break off those chocolate pieces to make your fun little bar chunks. I'll stare until I'm blind Fill me up, up. 